Hello and welcome to the video. So in this video I'm going to show you how to use index and match so that you can look up from not only the right of what you're trying to find but also to the left. Now before anyone puts it in the comments, yes I know we've got XLOOKUP now and XLOOKUP could do this but that's only for people who've got Office 365. For anyone who's still on the older versions of Office 19 and anything lower they don't have XLOOKUP so this would be the way that they would do it. So what I want to do is I want to use the employee ID to pull through the name of the person, their location, department and their hire date. Now for the location, department and hire date, the lookup would work. But because the name is to the uh, the left of what I'm trying to find, the lookup doesn't work because the lookup only looks for things past the item or including the item that you're asking it to find. So what I'm going to show you first of all is what the, the match formula actually does. So in this cell here, I'm just going to write the match formula separate from the index formula. So I'm going to do equals match. So just like the V lookup, first thing I need to do is tell it what I'm asking it to look for. So I'm asking it to look for this specific employee number that I've put in M3. I'll put my comma in. I'm now being asked where to look for that. So I'm going to select from the first employee ID all the way through to the last employee ID. And I did that quickly by clicking in that first employee ID and doing control shift down arrow. Now that I've done that, if I put another comma in, you'll see I get guidance to restrict what it looks for. So if it can't find an exact match, I could get it to look for something that was less than or greater than. I want it to only give me an answer if it finds an exact match. So I'm going to put a zero in. And if I now close the bracket, you will notice that it gives me the number 14. So the employee ID that I chose is actually the 14th one in this list. So you see as we start at row 5, that is at row number 18, so that is the 14th one down. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to build my index formula. So with index, I have to provide it with an array to begin with. So my array is going to be all of the information. So it's from the first employee's name all the way through to the last hours that are done. I now need to provide it with two bits of information. I need to provide it with the row number that I want it to go down to and then the column number. Well, our match function that we've created here is the item that tells us how far down to go. So I'm going to reference that cell. Now obviously in the real world, when I'm not explaining this, I would actually type in the uh, match formula here. And then I need to provide it with a column number. So based on our array, name is column 1, employee ID is column 2, location is 3, department is 4, Higher date is 5, benefits is 6, and hours is 7. So as I want their name, I'm going to put a 1 in there. And if I close my bracket, and I'll control enter now, you'll see I get the person's name. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just make the cell references in there absolute. So I'm going to go back into my formula, and I'll just highlight my array. I'm going to press F4 to make that absolute. I'm also going to absolute the reference to the match formula that I did. Now when I drag it down, I will get the same answer in all the boxes. But if I go to the location one and I now change the one to three, you'll now see that I get the person's location. Likewise, I'm going to change the 1 to a 4, I now get department, and then finally, the higher date 1, I'm going to change to 5, and I get their higher date. just need to format that to show as a date. So that's how to use index and match together to replace the the issue that you would have with VLOOKUP not being able to look to items to the left. Let me try a different employee ID. So let's pick 
Um, let's have a look who should we have. I have James Rich there. So if I pick James Rich and I paste his employee ID in, and I'll just widen column N because he was hired in October, so it's a bigger item to put in. You'll see now the match formula is now looking at row at the 16th employee down, but I'm still getting the correct information from the index. Thank you for watching the video guys. If you liked it, can you give me a thumbs up um, and subscribe? Don't forget to press the notification bell and that will notify you when a new video um, is put onto YouTube by me. I plan to put two videos on every week. So thank you for watching and stay tuned.